Welcome everyone to McCaskill High School tonight for the matchup between the Mustangs and the Patriots. It is late in the season. This is the second matchup for these ladies. Patrick Henry won at Patrick Henry last time a few weeks ago, 3-0. to zero. Um, Actually, it might have been 3-1. I have to look that up. But it was uh, it was tight enough. The, the Mustangs put up a good fight. Um, I do remember that. But here we are at McCashville High School, the Mustangs. It's four and a half minutes left on the clock before we start. The Patrick Henry Patriots are warming up, as you can see, on the camera. And you also can see that, again, we are a little light tonight. Um, in fact, there's a little bit of a shift from Tuesday night. All the same girls are out with the exception of Claire Williamson. You can see her in the middle there setting. She is back. She feels better tonight, uh, but apparently she must have passed it on to Corinne Delgado because Corinne is out tonight. She is not here. Uh, Jess, Coach Jess J Jones has called up Madison Mays, a JV player who is a sophomore, number 21 on the JV team, number one here tonight in the white, and she will play probably play some outside hitter, <coughs> excuse me, along with Addison Six and Isla Hales. Um, do see anticipate Emily Hancock and Zofia in the middle all night long and uh, look for Ashley Hall on the right side tonight as you can see her warming up as well and Aaron Bennett will probably spell her quite a bit we'll see Abby Hildebrand at the libero position I mean I think I'm only seeing three six nine actually I'm only seeing nine on the court tonight so I'll have to check and see who we are missing also. <laughs> yeah, we're out. We're out somebody else too. Um, but tonight it's Mechanicsville and Patrick Henry. Here are the Mechanicsville lineup. If I could find it on my list here. Uh, there it is. So a lot of seniors on this team led by the setters, Porter, Peyton Field, Kylie Christian, and Aaron Pendleberry is an outside hitter, number 11. Look for her tonight. We'll see a lot of Kennedy roll wing tonight. And I would imagine, who else did we see? Jana Pendergast was playing some last time, if I remember correctly. Carly Mann will play some. Aaron Schaefer. There are a lot of seniors on this team, and they looked good the last time we played them. They've won some matches. Um, I do want to show the the uh, standings. We can see how uh, how the girls are doing. So this is updated through yesterday or through today, through last night's matches. And then you can see Mechanicsville knocking on the door. Look at them at eight and four. So they've had quite a successful season. Big turnaround from last year. They struggled, uh, of course, last year. They only got to play Hanover County Schools. And um, Atlee and Patrick Henry had their number last year four times apiece. So Mechanicsville has turned it around this year. Patrick Henry sitting in third along with Atlee. Atlee's in second by the point rating. Um, but Mechanicsville's turning it on. If Mechanicsville can pull off an upset tonight over Patrick Henry, that'll give them... A big boost in there, and it will pretty much dash Patrick Henry's hopes of finishing first in the region. So we'll see if the Patriots can hold on tonight with their limited lineup. But a lot of good players on the court for the Patriots. A minute left as the girls are warming up. We'll get things started. I'm at a low angle. This is as high as I can get on the uh, other side, uh, opposite side of the court. Um, as, uh, you know, try to stay away from the parents' side so I don't bother them. But we do have the JV girls are over here on both teams with me. And also tonight is live. If you do have a, well, this is a recording, so it'll be too late to hear this, but Mechanicsville has been using the NFHS network for the last few years now, so they're in tune with it, and they are using their new cameras that came in. So it is live tonight on the NFHS network, uh, although no announcers. 
for it. So just live video. But you guys won't see it because you're watching this after, after the fact. Um, but I will say this. The NFHS network is the place that we're supposed to be using going forward. So get used to having to use it. And um, you, can't, you don't have to have a uh, – if you don't want to watch them live, you can watch them a day or two late and um, see them recorded. Uh, but if you want to watch them live, you need an account. So I believe here we go with the anthem and the announcements. Welcome to Mechanicsville High School for tonight's varsity volleyball match between the Patriots of Patrick Henry High School and your Mechanicsville Mustangs. Now would you please rise and move your head gear for the playing of the national anthem. First for the visiting team from Patrick Henry High School. Number one, Madison Mays. Number four, Abby Hildebrand. Number five, Emily Hancock. Number eight, Claire Williamson. Number nine, Erin Bennett. Number 10, Addison Six. Number 12, Isla Hales. Number 13, Zabia Walker. Number 15, Ashley Hall. Patriots are coached by Jessica Jones and assisted by Alyssa Bongiovanni, Kevin McLaughlin. And now for your Mechanicsville Mustangs. Number one, Leanna Bartro. Number two, Jana Pendergrass. Number three, Whitney Speaks. Number four, Peyton Porterfield. Number five, Emily Booth. Number six, Kali Christian. Number seven, Carly Mann. Number eight, Baylor Hughes. Number nine, Emily Fleming. Number 10, Aaron Schaefer. Number 11, Aaron Pendleberry. Number 12, Savannah Abley. Number 13, Jordan Bridger. Number 14, Kennedy Rowling. Mustangs are coached by Christy Porterfield and assisted by Tammy Miller, Kat Lester, Kim Adams, Nick Sonic, and Jeff Miller. Right, I think volleyball is getting ready to start now. Savannah Abelli Abley, we'll, we'll see her a lot as well. She's a steadfast player for Mechanicsville. So again, this should be interesting. I, I think our girls are certainly more than capable of taking care of business. Um, just a matter of how well this group will play together. Is you know, again, we're just missing some players uh, tonight. So I'm sure that they have been practicing the last couple of practices without some players uh, on the court. So they've been able to get used to the rotations and such. So you can see Madison Mays coming off. Ashley Hall coming off. So that means Aaron Bennett will be on the back row just for one rotation before you see Ashley coming on. Outside hitters Isla 
Hales and Addison six. And on for Mechanicsville, we see Peyton Porterfield, who looks like she's overcome a thumb injury from before. She didn't play much when it came to Patrick Henry. We have all white jerseys, both sides. Good thing there's a net in the middle, right? And I see Leanna Bartrug, who may just be playing back row right here. Kylie Christian setting up as the setter right now. Actually, Peyton looks like she is. And you see Kennedy Rollwing at one middle. And the other middle, Carly Mann, it looked like, came off if I caught the number right on here. We'll be calling their names a lot tonight, I'm sure. Peyton Porterfield to start things off. That's going to go wrong. If I can I need to switch my my picture here. Okay. Oops. My apologies. Administrative work here. So one one leading off the evening. Look for Pendleberry too. She's a good server. She have a presence in there, especially when it comes to blocking. She's serving now. Here's a good serve. Right in front of six. On cue for Pendleberry. That was a confusion there as you see Hales and Hildebrand trying to figure the seam out. Should be 3-1, it is. That's gonna go long. So two Patrick Henry points both on missed serves. Addison six back to serve. That's an overpass, and Zofia nearly takes it, but not enough zip on it. And there's Claire from the corner, from the back, finds the corner. Good kill for Williamson. 3-3. Three, three. Having Claire Williamson back tonight, very vital. Key for the Patriots. Glad she's feeling better. The down ref tonight is someone we've seen often. And uh, I guess she's either more thorough than others or just maybe a little slower to catch the rotations than others. It seems to take a while sometimes. There's a pass. Porton, excuse me, Porterfield with the set. Rollwing tries to kill, but Sophia right there. Good block. Porterfield's going to be tongue-tied tonight. Here's Porterfield setting up back set there to Christian. High pass. Oh, that's a good down ball there. Free ball for us. Claire outside. Isla Hales off the hands of Christian and out of bounds for the point. Kennedy rolling a very tall presence in there. Six still serving. Pendleberry, Porterfield, Christian. And that goes in. That's in. That looked like it was going to go wide, but found the line over there. Carly Mann back to the front as Roll Wing goes back to serve. That clear on the front row, so look for her. Yeah. 
And there's a big kill by Zofia Walker. Great set by Williamson, perfect spot. Sophia has just starred this year. She serves. Good serve. Pendleberry gets it up though. Free ball. Bennett's gonna play right side right now. Aaron Bennett with a kill. Not typically a front row player, but all hands on deck tonight. Well, that's a really good dig by Christian. Tried to keep it alive. Sophia again. That's going to go long. Yep. So Christian back to serve. Christian is a fantastic server. Uh, this is going to be, we're going to need to get her off the line. And that goes long. Thank goodness. Nine five, Patrick Henry in set one. And Bennett will stay in the match, and that's an overpass. And Emily Hancock tries to get it down, not enough. Christian gives us a free ball. Bennett, good pass. This will be outside for Hales. And a good block by Hancock as Pendleberry comes across. Aaron Schaefer is a libero for Mechanicsville. Timeout. Mustangs, Patriots off to a good start. Really nice job by the Patriots getting out in set one and kind of staying in offense, in system two for the most part. Passing looks good. There's a couple of big hitters on the other side. So far we've kept the offense away from Pendleberry and Roll wing. We'll need to continue doing that to succeed tonight. Bennett back to serve again. Christian back set. Good hands by six. Hales pushes it over. Christian setting now. Porterfield tries to get it over but jumped a little early. So between Christian and Porterfield, they will they run a 6-2. And uh, Christian, when she's on the back row, she's the setter. There's Porterfield hitting. Anna Bartrook back to the back row. Rolling. Takes a seat. Actually, she's the middle, so she didn't just sit down. Out the catcher just sat down. Emily, a little long. I think that was Savannah Abley that came out. I'll have to watch that rotation again when it comes back around. 11 7 pH. Good pass by Hildebrand outside. Hales off the hands of Porterfield, but Christian couldn't quite get that up high enough. Hales will serve, sending Addison six to the front row. Pass by Pendleberry. 
And there's Claire getting a kill. Front row kill for Claire. Christian Porterfield. That's going to go back and forth all night. And there's a block as Six just tries to push that over Peyton Porterfield. Ready for it. Easy block. 13-8, PH still on top. Schaefer with a serve. That's a good turn by Abby. Six will cross. Outside for Pendleberry. It's a tight pass there. A little bit too tight as Christian couldn't quite get to it. Ran into the net. I mean, she got to it, but couldn't, couldn't quite stop. So look for Zofia now on the front row. Getting a couple of kill attempts, I imagine. Abby to serve. That's a good pass. And there, there it is. Porterfield keeping it alive. Christian goes deep. And there's Claire trying to get one off the net. She does, but he, Mustang's trying to get that off the ground. Couldn't quite do it. Claire looks to kill a lot now. Anytime the ball comes her way. 15-8 pH, set one. Schaefer keeping it alive. There it is again, Sophia. Somebody got the net. I think that was Rollwing. Yep. Kennedy Rollwing into the net for the Mustangs. Oh, off the hands. No touch, no touch. No touch by Burt Crook, goes long. Coach Christy Porterfield, a very fair coach. If she saw it, she would have called it. Her daughter serving now, Peyton. And another goes long for Peyton, just a little bit long for her tonight. Good dig by Schaefer. And Christian, oh, just a little long for Christian, too. So Williamson back to serve. She's going to want to try to do her best, run off a few. Schaefer keeping it alive. Claire coming out to six, who gets a deep ball in there. Pendleberry gets a kill. First one of the night, I think, for her. She's usually good for quite a few. Abley comes in. Bertrug to the bench. Bartrug. Bartrug. 18 10. Into the net. Mentioned it last time we played them. They. The Mustangs miss one of their top players from last season. Has apparently moved out of the area. Julia Slaughter. And she was only a freshman last year, but probably their top hitter. I'm sure she's doing well wherever she is. Outside. Abley gets the kill. In comes Carly Mann. Carly Mann, the only, she was on JV last season, and she was the only experienced player on JV last year as Coach Mick Sladek 
had a brand new squad for the Mustangs. And they did well today. The uh, Patriots won the JV match two to one, but it was a tight match uh, all in all. The Mustangs showed well as they are kind of reloading. Sophia to serve. Enough air under that one for Christian. 21 11. Pendlebury, good down ball. And a back set. That just went the wrong way there. Timeout, Mustangs, 22-11 PH, doing well this set. So you saw the standings and Mechanicsville, really, I mean, they're doing well this year. They've lost to Alley, they lost to Patrick Henry, and they've, I think they've, I don't know what they did with Hanover. I don't remember their schedule, but I think Hanover won. I mean, the the mechanic or the Hanover County teams are doing quite well this year. You can see King George has been coming on strong. They have won, I want to say, 11 out of 12 or 13. Cortland the same. They've won 11 out of or uh, 10 out of 11. Um, those are the two teams from the north to watch out for. Spotsylvania, they're doing well, but they still have to play King George again, Cortland twice, I think, and Chancellor. They have some tough matches ahead of them, Spotsylvania. As it stands right now, PH at three would play the winner of 6-11, King George Eastern View. Zofia, back at it. Schaefer, good pass. Oh, what a kill by... Abley. Solid set by Porterfield, finding her in the right spot. So you see Ashley in the in the match. Playing right side. Imagine we'll see if this continues this evening. We'll see some. There's another. Oh, what? that went off the hands of somebody. Abby, I think. Not sure why they were getting that close to the ball. I think they were understood it to be going out, but Christian serving. Oh, easy serve there that time. Porterfield. Pushing it, and Claire, good down ball. Getting things started, Abby's gonna set up Claire. She likes to do that. And Christian keeping it alive. And here's Isla. Pendleberry with the dig. Claire's gonna have to bump set, free ball by Hales. Scramble, mad scramble. And there's a good middle ball for Hancock. Abby will have to set up Isla. Big volley. Schaefer setting up Abley. Roll shot. And into the net. Hildebrand trying the kill shot. A little low. Twenty-two fourteen PH still on top. Coach Porterfield trying to piece together who's in. Christian to serve still. There's more of her speed. 
And Ashley gets a kill off the hands of number seven. Carly Mann, I think. So Ashley will serve. And that goes wide. Leanna Bartruck comes in to serve. Oh, that's not enough. That would have been a really sneaky serve if it got over. So Abby trying to, oh no, okay, Isla. Hales is going to try to finish here with match point. Excuse me, set point. Outside, Pendleberry. Good hit by Pendleberry. Cross and finding that zone. Roll wing coming back in for the Mustangs. 24-16. Page trying to finish this one off. Down rift. Figuring things out again. Schaefer to serve. That's going to go long for the set. PH takes set one here at Mechanicsville. 25-16 as the JV team. I wish I could show you. But they're right next to me doing the wave. Getting everybody fired up. So nice job by the Patriots. Short-staffed. Taking care of business. On the boys side, still running well. Not, not a whole lot has changed in the last couple days. Um, there were some matches Tuesday. I got those in here. Everybody's playing tonight. I mean, just, just about every school, boys and girls, have matches tonight. You know, I think we're cross-county, so that means Hanover is playing against Atlee right now. I don't know in, at what facility, but... That'll be a big one. I know Atley will be favored in that, but if uh, if Hanover can somehow beat Atley tonight on the girls' side, I'll just show that again. That could be a big uh, boost for Patrick Henry. If if PH if the girls can win their games uh, out, I mean, there's a chance Atley would drop down to four, perhaps behind Hanover. King George is sitting six, but there. I mean, if 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 Patrick Henry wins tonight, McHansville will flop below King George. King George has got a few matches left, and they're not going to lose. I just don't think it. I just don't think they're going to lose. I think they're going to win out, and I wouldn't be shocked if they end up in fourth. But again, stay above that green line. You get to host on November third. November 1st, everyone below the green line and above the red line will have to play each other in round one. And again, the boys are on the same nights, so if the boys are hosting, it'll be the same thing. Above the green line, they don't play November 1st. That's Monday. That's a Monday. And then on a, on a Wednesday the 3rd, they'll host. And if all of this lines up, they would host the winner of the 7-10 matchup, which in this case would be Mechanicsville and Dinwiddie. And again, probably a doubleheader night for Patrick Henry High School. So come early for the girls and stay late for the boys. The boys game is a little different for those that haven't seen it. It's just wired a little differently. It's uh, it's more about power and speed, um, jumping, and um, the girls, is they're a lot better at following. <laughs> and 
Both good games, just different. So set two, getting ready to start. Claire will be in her usual spot to start things off. Coach Porterfield, Porterfield helping the down ref figure out who's who. And the girls were in the wrong spots. Oh, they f they were basically flipped. Oh. See, you saw, saw them all switch. Man will have a seat. Schaefer in. I think they're all straight now. And a good kill for Pendleberry. I believe that was Pendleberry, yep. Got that off the hands of Bennett. Again, Aaron, usually a back row player, so getting a little experience on the front row. Blocking and such. Zofia down the middle, blocks. Right into the arms of Rolling and Pendleberry. The two tallest girls on the court on either team tonight. Abley back to serve. That's going to go wide. The gym looks good. The Mechanicsville Mustangs, you know, their colors have changed a little bit from the old high school, the Davis Confederates. They were the kind of that Confederate blue and and red, deep red. That's going to go wide. Now we, excuse me, it was it was Confederate blue and orange, and now it's purple and orange. But they have updated the floor, the walls, the padding. See the big M on the wall and. It's interesting, and there's a point for Mechanicsville. There's an emblem on the wall on the right. I'll try to pan over a little. You can see it over there with the M. And it says Mechanicsville High School established in 2020, which I, I guess is right. That's when it started, Mechanicsville High School. I feel like the school itself was established in 1958, though, with Patrick Henry. Too many hits. Tied up at three. Simone Lawson walking in front of your camera there. The eighth grade setter on the JV team. Great future for Patrick Henry, I can see ahead of her. She apparently made the national team at RVC which I believe would be 14 national for her age group. Middle, Emily. Good hustle by the Mustangs. Claire going outside to Isla Hales. Yes, there it is, good kill. Off the hands of Christian. Bennett, deep. Free, that's gonna go out for Porterfield. Five, four, PH.
Just over. There it is. An ace for Bennett. Good dig by Schaefer. Porterfield has to push it over. And a dump red well though. Pendleberry saw that. She's seen that before from Claire. Former teammates, I believe. And Schaefer not quite over the net. I think Han Hancock was there for that anyway. Seven four. Good pass by Abby. Hales. Christian setting up Pendleberry. Hales again going hard, blocked. And that's a nice nice job by Hales trying to tool. Porterfield, but Mustang's ready for it. Great volley by both teams. And there it is. Good kill by Hale. She finally got ship up four chances there. Mustang's ready every time except for that last one. 8-4. That's an overpass. Wow, Mustang's keeping that alive. Nice spot for Hales finding that back corner. I don't know how the Mustangs kept that one alive. I didn't even see who did it. Probably Christian, but I don't know. Nine four timeout Mustangs. The gym is clean. Looks like it's freshly painted. I think it, I guess it was painted when they changed the colors and everything. As Patrick Henry was just painted as well. And we had a giveaway on Tuesday night. For that, I'm not live, so I'm not going to do it this time. Gave away three, or three winners of the Deeper Sleep. Nice sleep aid at night. Cream, rub a little on the bottom of your feet. Seems weird, but it works. And I know darn well I'm going to be putting it on later tonight after I watch. Hopefully, I'm, I might jinx it. Hopefully I watch the Giants beat the Dodgers tonight. We'll see. Bennett, Schaefer, Porterfield, Pendleberry, blocked. This will go to Emily in the middle. And she finds a nice spot. I mean, she didn't want to challenge the middle right away. Pendleberry was there along with Mann. So she pushed it into the corner. 10-4. Man, not quite as tall as Rawling. Probably five, four or five inches shorter. Hmm. Smart play by Pendleberry over the blocks. Pendleberry had an older sister that played here too, I seem to remember. Good pass by Bennett. Yeah. Back row attack. Abby getting dirty. There you go. Hales with another kill. Isla has really found a good spot over here on the left side. Pendleberry having a seat.
Isla sneaks it over. <laughs> that goes just a little long or wide, I think. Yeah, I think that's a good call. The up ref saw it as hitting the corner, but it was a little bit wide, which is a harder for her to see that ball just going wide. Down ref helped on that. Get it right. 11-6 right now, Patrick Henry in the set two here. Bennett from the back. Oh, what a block. And that goes out. Good presence, though. Williamson off her hands out of bounds. That's going to go long there for Schaefer. So Zofia gallops in. Abby will serve for Hancock. Overpass. Not enough. Six had a run at that overpass, just couldn't quite get that thing at a good angle down. Mustangs keeping it alive. 12-8. BH Porterfield. There's Sophia. She's going down with it. Another overpass. And six finds a good spot that time. Claire, oh, she was going hard at that ball trying to drop down a little too low. Abley back to serve. Seen enough of that. Oh, Pendleberry, fine in the middle. Almost looked like a miss hit, but worked out for the Mustangs. 14-10, uh, Patrick Henry. That's a good serve there. And that ball's a little too high for rolling. Porterfield keeping it alive. Oh, not enough for Schaefer. Good idea. Addison still serving. Up 15-10. Into the net. Can't quite seem to open the lead up like last set. I believe it was 22-11 last set. Now it's 15-11. We're on the right side of the score. But maybe I'm just being greedy. I like to see Madison Mays get in. That's an ace. Rolling fine in the corner.
They have a they have an ace celebration. I'll see, I'll try to show you next if they get it again. I'll try to show you the bench. Kennedy again. That time, there's, there it is again. Oh, they're not going to do it this time. Oh, man. Kennedy rolling is just tearing us up right now. 15 14 pH. Christian free ball to us. Abby outside, oh no, this is the right side. Aaron Bennett, good run on it. Oh, and a hit by Christian. Oh, that might have been Pendleberry over there. Either way, tied it up. We need to get Kennedy rolling off the line. There's a better pass. Zofia. There it is again. And Pendleberry mishits that one. As PH has stopped the run. Hancock to the front row again as Zofia will serve. That's a good serve, getting it right back. An effective serve. And a little confusion there. We'll take it. Emily's getting more comfortable in the middle there. I think she'll, as she gets more and more comfortable, she'll swing a little harder. Get those balls more pace on them as she hits them. There's a big hit, speaking of. Kylie Christian from the right side. She's serving now. Oh. That is fortunate for PH. Let's see what Aaron Bennett could do. That's a good hit by Pendleberry. Kind of hung in the air. He serves now. Seems like whoever gets the kill serves. Good dump. Claire finding that spot. Lena Bartrick comes in now. For Pendleberry. So Isla will serve. Look for Addison on the front row. There's an overpass. That's a double not called. So a nice volley both ways. 
1918, PH on top by one as Kennedy Rolling comes in to the front row. A quick back and forth, it felt like she was just serving. As we've called the janitor in, Christy Porterfield. Otherwise known as coach. So those overpasses, I'd like to see Addison get a little more aggressive on hitting those down. Emily going down. That'll that'll work. Trying to go down with that. Ooh, there's an ace. Twenty-one eighteen PH now. Abby's still going. Mad scramble that goes out around the other side of the pin. That's a good play by Porterfield. Smart player. She's serving. Middle, Zofia. Abby gets that. No one could get to it, though. Porterfield still serving for the Mustangs. There's a good pass by Abby. Outside, Addison, Schaefer. Bad scramble by the Mustangs. And there's Zofia with a slide. That was a good adjustment on that. The pass came over to the left. So Zofia kind of looped around. Gave Claire the opportunity to give her a back set. Ooh, nasty serve, you could see as Bartrick was trying to adjust to hit that. 24-20, set point. Bartrick gets that one, but there's the overpass. Zofia puts it down, I guess, hard enough. Abley couldn't handle it. 25-20 in set two. Competitive set there. Nice job by the Patriots. Up 2-0. Next week, big week. Monday, Godwin at Godwin. I should be able to broadcast that live. And I'll try to come on a few minutes early. For JV, and of course JV will dictate the varsity a little bit. If JV is done in two sets, then the varsity should start around seven. If not, it might start a little late. And I, I'm still up in the air whether we're going to have Ren back in time for that. I think so. There's uh, COVID protocols on coming back and clear being cleared and being negative and all this stuff so but I, I keep I've been told two different things but today I've been told that she would be ready for Monday and I assume that Ella Otto will be in that same boat um, 
So, and I believe that by that time, all of the other players who've had to kind of quarantine themselves should be good and out of quarantine. So we might have a full house on Monday. Certainly by Thursday against Atley, I think we should be good to go on that. But yeah, big week. Getting down to the end here, hard to believe. Goes very fast. Let's see if Madison Mays gets on the court this time. She has a mask on, so perhaps not. Yep, she's coming on. She'll take Addison's spot. Mays, a sophomore, a little taller than Ad Ad Addison. And uh, one of the top hitters on JV this season, and even last season, too. There's really no choice, Hancock and Zofia. They're the middles. I mean, there are no other middles unless Isla wants to move over. With Ella being out. Schaefer starting things off for the Mustangs. Good pass by Hales. Sophia. Oh, and Christian has to hit that, and we keep it alive. Mays gets her first touch in varsity. And we're going to go back to Hales. Not sure she was ready for that one. Overpass one. Neutral zone. Little joust there. Sophia. Getting the point on that. Aaron Bennett losing a shoe just about. Something not sure. Coming off with her excitement. Claire to serve. Oh, another tough pass there. Claire serves. I just... If you haven't seen them from the back, like from the perspective of the Mustang players, you just can't appreciate what she's doing to the ball. Punching it over. And there's Zofia just miss hitting that one. Porterfield serving PH up 2-1 early, set three. Mm, trying to keep it alive. Ashley Hall running after it. <laughs> the bench celebrations are pretty fantastic. Some maze. Couldn't quite handle that one. So the defense will switch. Isla, good pass. Zofia. Schaefer, what a dig for the Mustangs. Free ball for us. Back set to Ashley and off the hands of Porterfield. Good kill by Hall. 
Addison will come in for Madison. Addison for Madison. She will serve. Porterfield. Claire trying to get one down. She does off the hands of Kennedy Rollwing. Four three pH. Six into the net that time. DH having had trouble having handling that one. Abley still serving. That's a good serve. Just right over the net coming across like that. Abley's only a junior. Look for her next year. And somebody, I heard someone say, I got it, and nobody went for it. <laughs> so that was some confusion there. Couldn't hear who said I got it. There's the pass. Isla getting a run on it. Oh, miss set there. Middle to Zofia off of Kennedy's hands. Down ball by Christian going deep in the corner. Point, Mustangs. Home team up 8-4 now. PH needing to settle down a little bit. And look at that. Oh, what a dig just out. Good try by Hales. Oh, no, it landed in. Upref called it in. They're asking the player if she thought it was in. Oh, boy. 8-5. So apparently I got enough line. Oh, not enough. Zofia. Missing that out of bounds. Timeout. Patrick Henry, the Patriots taking their first timeout of the set. Mustangs up 9-5. Football, where are we this week for football? I have to check it, check that out. You guys probably already know it. Let's see. Home against Armstrong. Tomorrow, Armstrong is, um, the school has become so small, just not, there's not a whole lot of students at Armstrong anymore. I believe it's a class two school now. One of the smallest schools in central Virginia, public schools that is, in the Richmond area.
Kennedy drills Carly Mann in the back of the head, gives her a hug. <laughs> and we'll have a seat and think about what she's done. In comes Bennett to serve for Ashley. Schaefer keeps things alive. And just a miss hit for Pendleberry. Bennett serving down two, nine, seven Mustangs. Into the net. So the Patriots football, four and two. Now, after losing to Highland Springs, everybody loses to Highland Springs there, right? Put up a good show for a while. I think the Springers scored 21 late points to win. PH up for a while in that football game. They got Armstrong tomorrow night and then home again next week against Hanover. Then on the road to Verina, always a hard football game. And then they finish the season with the Tomato Bowl. There's a good hit. Against these Mustangs, the Tomato Bowl that is. A down ball by Christian. Just keeping everything alive. We're scrambling, can't get into system. And Abby shanks it into the net for the Patriots. Eleven eight Mustangs. Pendleberry back to serve. Abby gets a good pass on that one. And Madison Mays just mishits that one. I know it's a little tough when you have, like, Mays is not used to seeing Claire as a setter. I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up getting called up. That's just a speculation on my part for the playoffs. All depends on our need. Pendleberry still going, 13-8 Mustangs into the net. This will be Christian, ooh, long down ball. She's usually good with the down balls, a little long on that one. 13-10, PH coming back a little bit. Abby skims the net. Gets it done. Ace. Our bench would do something crazy, but there's only three girls on the bench. You know, celebration, bench, celebration. That's gonna go long. Mays kicks it over. Attempt for Mays going a little wide, just wide. Madison will come in for Madison Mays. Madison getting a little bit of playing, or Addis, Madison Mays getting a little playing time. And that's a nice play for Porterfield. 
using that left. That right there is why a left-handed setter can be the most dangerous position on the, on the floor. That's going to go long. Nope, we keep it alive. Good jump set by Porterfield and I believe that was ably pushing that over. Might have been might have been Kennedy. Rolling. 17-11 Mechanicsville really taking over. Just trying to keep it alive. Kennedy rolling goes long on that one. So Claire back to serve, and let's see. Coach Christy Porterfield's asking for a tip. Oh no, she's asked, she's waiting for the fans to leave. Mother first, coach second as it should be. <laughs> Williamson showing off her serving. Oh, that's lands in. That's in. Coach Porterfield helped out the up ref. Good block. I believe that may have been. Ashley there on that one. Zofia off the hands of Kennedy Rowling and to the floor. Good comeback, 15-17 PH. As Pendleberry will have a seat. Coach Porterfield bringing in Vienna Bartram. Trying to get a, trying to get a pass on here. Claire may pick on Bartruck right away. There it is. There's an overpass. Addison pushes it over. Kennedy, good hit. Six, miss hits that, gets it over though. Porterfield pushes it deep. Good pass by Isla. Ashley pushing that over. Christian getting it over. Middle, Zofia. Thought she saw an opening. And there's six pushing it. Somebody got into the net there. Might have been the ball. Double. She hit that one-handed, so that's interesting. An interesting call. Set that with one hand. Okay, they're doing a replay. It's really hard to double when you only use one hand. So replay, 17-15 Mustangs. Good pass. And that goes long. Abley going a little too strong on that one. Trying to drop it in to the donut. Out. Kennedy trying to let Emily Hancock play. Oh, 
Hales, oh, not enough. Couldn't quite get that. I couldn't get the camera over in time. Isla went digging for it. Not enough. So, Mechanicsville stops the run. Good run by Patrick Henry. Not unusual when Claire's serving. 1817 Mustangs Porterfield serving. Hales, good pass. Ashley from the left side. She'll make a switch now. Oh, and Claire tried to keep that one alive. Mishit that one. That's going to go long. PH hanging in there. Addison to serve. Schaefer trying to get that in the right direction, but a little too far. PH has tied it up at 19. Timeout. Mustangs. Coach Porterfield wanted to talk. She is uh, having a powwow with her daughter. Leaving it up to Coach Mick Sladek. Seniors in the huddle talking. 19 apiece. I do appreciate the comeback as I'm um, trying to get to the, uh, you know, watch the Giants Dodgers. Two, the two top records in baseball playing each other in basically the quarterfinals. Kind of a crazy way that baseball's designed their playoffs. Although it is odd that two teams from the same division would be top two rec teams in all of baseball, but that's what we deal with. Here we go. Addison, good pass. And Zofia gets it over, sets up the other team. Abby back to Claire, good down ball. Oh, and we're just scrambling. That's a double, I believe. Nope. Looks like Claire must have hit the first one. Addison from the back, just over the outstretched arms of roll wing. And Kylie Christian gets into the net. The ball was going to be down anyway, so even if she could dig into the net, it would have been a, a point for the Patriots. Good battles here. Well, that finds a, a hole. As I see a Mechanicsville Mustang boys player walk into the gym, so that match is long over, I guess, as the boys, or Patrick Henry was hosting the Mustangs tonight. PH is a strong team. I imagine PH 130, just a guess. 2120, Patrick Henry, Emily to the front row. Let's see what Zofia can do here. Overpass, Emily, not quite enough downward motion on that one. Outside, Pendleberry finds the corner. Nope, just a little long. Coach Jones is usually pretty good about calling it too if it goes in. Twenty-one twenty. 
22-20 pH. Hancock, too far. So Carly Mann is gonna be on the front row now for the Mustangs. Kennedy back to serve. She kind of did a number on his last set. Oh, found a spot there for Isla. Got Kennedy rolling off the service line. 23-21 pH. So Aaron Bennett will come into serve and try to win two points to finish this match off. As the down ref is taking some time again. At this point, I need to record the game. Oh, big kill by Pendleberry. That is what she does. Into the net, PH benefiting. Match point right here. Emily Hancock, not quite finishing it. Oh, and into the net for Abley. And that will do it. Patrick Henry with a great comeback here in set three, beating the Mustangs 25-22 in, set, in three sets, three to zero. So a good, uh, good comeback for the Patriots, shorthanded tonight. And we'll see who's available on Monday against Godwin. We're gonna need all hands on deck, tell you that. So hopefully we'll see Ren and Ella and Corinne and Nora and all the others and Kate Everybody who's missing, we need you there. Aubrey Cox, I know, is gone. Uh, we'll see what happens on Monday. Thanks for joining. Thanks for listening. And again, we'll be live on Monday. Look for that. Great job for the Patriots. Have a good night. <laughs>